Greetings, young humans. I am Terra. The Earth is my home, and I love living here. It's such an amazing, beautiful place. Welcome to my habitat and home, the wonderful Sustainability Pavilion. It is inspired by the beautiful Gaff Tree. Water, food, soil, plants, rain, sunshine, air, everything we need is here. I take really good care of my home. Do you know how? By living sustainably. That is why I am the Sustainability Guardian at Expo 2020 Dubai. Sustainability means looking after our environment today so that people in the future can enjoy our wonderful world tomorrow. That's a pretty cool home, eh? Now, follow me. Life on Earth started billions of years ago. That is a long, long time, right? And in all that time, life has not stopped changing. Lots of incredible animals once used to live here in the United Arab Emirates region. Let's take a look at some of them. You know, plants and animals adapt to change and live alongside each other in what we call the balance of life. And humans are part of that balance. As humans, we are doing many things that affect the balance of life all over the planet. Come on, let me show you how. I bet you've walked more than once through a forest. But have you ever walked under it? Follow me on this amazing journey. Look, can you see these glowing roots? They are signals that go back and forth between the trees in a huge connected network which we call the Wood Wide Web. When the forest is under attack, the trees send warning signals through the network. The trees are talking to each other. Humans and trees are very similar. We both share, communicate, support and grow together. Our lovely tree friends are a vital source of the oxygen that you breathe. They give food and shelter to other animals. But in the balance of life, even the Biggest trees need help from the smallest of creatures. We need to dig deep to meet this one. The earthworm, humble engineer of the underworld. He's in charge of digging to keep the trees healthy by letting water and air into the soil. Earthworms are always ready to help their friends, just like humans. Speaking of friends, just like worms protect our beloved forest, our other friends protect the ocean. Let's go now and meet them. Just like the trees, these corals support a huge range of different life. Almost a quarter of underwater life depends on them. Algae grow on the coral. Small fish feed on the algae. 
other creatures hunt the small fish. This community is a beautiful balance of life. Lots of creatures share the ocean habitat. Huh? Do you hear that sound? It's a humpback whale. Just like humans, whales sing to communicate with each other. And there is even more life far down under the ocean surface. Ready for a deep dive? Welcome everyone to the Midnight Zone. It's so dark here, don't you think? It's so deep underwater that no sunlight is able to reach here. The creatures communicate by making their own light and colors. From songs to communities, friends to families, and from corals to forests. You really do have so much in common with the wonderful life on your home planet. So, what are humans doing that is disturbing the balance of life on Earth? Here is one of the problems. Nasha, the consumption monster. This machine gobbles up resources from nature to make stuff that humans want. And it is always hungry. Another issue is carbon dioxide. This is an invisible gas that comes from energy that powers homes, factories and cars. It pollutes the atmosphere and causes the oceans to overheat. That is terrible for the coral community. <sighs> then there is plastic. You use it every day. But when you're done, it takes many, many years to break down and lots of it ends up in the sea the creatures over there. <sighs> the challenges are many, my friends. Forests are being cut down to make fields. Dangerous rubbish is building up quickly. Water is being used too carelessly. And energy is being wasted all the time. This change, all this taking and using and throwing away, is too much for our lovely planet. It's time to get back to the balance of life. If we start to become a bit more mindful, and if we use the Earth's resources more wisely, then we will be able to cause less damage to the planet. All around the world, People are coming up with great ideas to help us live better without causing harm to our home. We already use the wind and sun to create energy. Clean energy with no harmful gases. Now that is smart thinking. And how about this? Farms inside buildings. The plants are fed by these specially designed water systems. This allows less land to be used and food to be grown much closer to the cities where it is most needed. Check out these farm robots. They are great at digging, planting and harvesting without damaging the precious soil like big machines and humans do. Now it's time to meet the shark the waste drone. 
It's a sea drone that eats up marine litter like plastics and oil. It's animal friendly and can clear 500 kilograms of waste every day. But look, we can also help by recycling the things we use and throw away every day. Cans, glass, plastic, clothes, and keeping and using the things we have for longer. This is what we call reduce, reuse, and recycle. We can volunteer, join an environmental group, contribute to preserving the environment, reduce the amount of water we need, switch off lights and laptops, turn down the air conditioning, so we can reduce the energy we use. And we can learn lessons from the past too. The ancient Falaj irrigation system in the UAE was the way our ancestors shared water for their homes and farms. People had to work together to make sure everyone got what they needed and nothing was wasted. So we need to change. Even if it's just one thing to start with. We can make a difference if we try, right? The future of the planet is in our hands. Let's tell all our friends that together we can make a difference. We can help by living responsibly. Remember, we only have one Earth to call home. So we have to look after it together. This is Terra signing off for now. See you soon.